Hi guys, I'm back with a quick video of how I make these ocean uh, resin tray thingamajiggy bobs. So I got these trays from AliExpress, which took forever because it was coming from China. Um, it literally took, well no, these actually didn't take that long. I'd say about three weeks. <laughs> you know anything else you order from um china especially right now during the pandemic um you're gonna wait like three months but anyway um so i'm just pre-mixing my um my, my resin um titanium white is my absolute favorite for by just resin to, to make waves i've tried everything like mermaid trash and then like silicone and acrylic paint and no nothing works like just resin um uh, yeah, that paste is amazing. So um, I'm just going to use one blue, and that's the Ultramarine uh, Blue. I think that's, yeah, Ultramarine Blue by Just Resin. It's really pretty. You only need like a pinch, honestly, because it's so, it's like a really deep blue. It's beautiful. Anyway, um, I got some rocks, some black rocks from Amazon. I, I wanted... Um, I don't know, I saw somewhere on Instagram, there was some lady who had, like, black rocks. I just thought it was so cool. Um, so, yeah, I got that. And um, you see me pouring them here. Now, you guys know I reuse everything, and these are some cups that have been re reused, like, 12 or 14 times. So, um, I've made these trays before, but I use kind of, like, broken up shells and sand on a little bit larger trays. These are about 7 inches. They're kind of small. I was disappointed because I thought I was ordering the nine inch trays, uh, but instead I end up getting the seven. But that's what you get when you order from from China, honestly. So, yeah, um, I start down by putting the rocks, and you only put just like a tiny bit of resin in there because you don't want to um, put too much resin in the rocks uh, because then the resin will start to kind of pour out. You just want enough to kind of just get it like a little wet, if if that makes sense. Not not very much at all. I'd say like half a teaspoon. Um, so since I'm not using a, a, I guess a big canvas, I don't really need that much. But I always end up having extra. I haven't quite figured out the measurements for this. I always eyeball it. I never really write down and calculate the amount of resin I use, which I should start doing honestly. But so um. So to make the ocean waves, which it took me forever to learn, you got to have a clear resin in front of the white resin, or I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, I put down the blue, but you see I put down the, just like a clear base, and then I'm going to come in with the white pigment paste by Just Resin. Um, and that has to go on top of the clear that you put. And that's the only way the waves are going to be made. And it's really hard. I tried to make them in like the coaster molds. Very hard. Very, very hard. Because um, there really isn't much room. You can make them outside of the coaster molds after you pop them out. And then, you know, make your waves on top of it. But to do it like inside the mold is really hard to do. Um, so, yeah, you see I'm putting it on the clear part there. And it doesn't matter if there's some drips because it's all going to get um, swooshed around anyway. you got to have a heat gun. Um, just This is sped up a little bit, so obviously I'm not going this fast. You just kind of push it around over the blue just to kind of break up the, the lines there. And you got to have a torch for it. You hit it with that torch real quick, a couple seconds, and then after that, the... The lacing starts to happen uh, you leave it alone don't mess with it well I mess with it here because I was trying to make sure it was on an even surface but um yeah after you do the heat gun and then you use your torch that's it um, you'll see a picture at the end of what it looks like right there I'm just getting off some resin with a baby wipe and so on to the next. I had some extra resin left and um, a nine inch tray here that you're going to see in a minute that um, 
I wanted to do like a marbling effect. I still, okay, what's that? Pink Sherbert by Just Resin. Um, it's really pretty, shimmery, baby pink. It's really pretty. And then that is a mixture of, I think, Crown, Crown Made, uh, Black Pearl Pigment, and I can't remember the other one. I should show it in a second. Quartz. Oh my gosh, that quartz is, I, I say that about everything, but I swear, guys, it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, I had some extra resin and um, I wanted to make like a marbling effect. Still haven't quite figured that out yet. I'll get it down soon enough, I'm sure. Um, I don't know why I put that down there. I, I can't give you a reason. I don't know why I put that clear stuff down there. But um, I'm just kind of like throwing the quartz out there, the quartz mixture. Um, because I want it like pink and black and, and white. And I think I want a gold, but I think I might have forgot to put the gold in there. You see the extra white that I'm using from uh, Just Resin, the extra titanium white. Uh, see, I was running out of time. Um, my resin was starting to get, it was starting to get hot. And you see right there, it's like a little slimy. So I'm like panicking at this point because I'm like, oh my God, I need to find somewhere to put this resin. I don't want it to go to waste. Anyways, so, um, yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out how to make the, the marbling effect. A lot of people are really good at it. Um, I haven't quite figured it out yet. Um, it's it's kind of hard when uh, you don't have a background in art. I definitely don't have a background in art. I was never, like, uh, the person that could draw. I could color with really well. But, but anyway, um, so uh uh yeah just get a heat gun and and try to like blur the lines a little bit but but not too much I think I kind of took it too far and yeah I kind of blurred it a little too far blurred a little too far I don't know how to talk right now um and then I just popped a little crystal on top that I I made it's a resin crystal I wish it was real but crystals are too expensive so I just kind of placed that there and yeah, I made a another one, a black one. I'll have to show you guys later. But I was overall okay with it right there. I'm just kind of drizzling some of that mixture on top because the crystal looked kind of dull. It, it was a, a matte mold. I got it from Amazon. Wasn't really happy about that mold. But anyway, here are the pictures. Thank you so much for listening to me. And I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.